60 years of combined radio experience, leaving everything they know behind to join the digital media revolution, Fisher and Cage, featuring Special Ed. Coming to you from the historic Janice, Janice Live in beautiful downtown St. Petersburg, Florida, here are Fisher and Cage. You gotta say coming down. You go coming down in three, two, coming down in three, two, one. Hey, welcome back. It's Fisher and Cage. Dun dun dun. Oh, hey, sorry. Fisher, I'm Cage. That's Ed, and you've got some sheet we should know, huh? I do. All right. Here we go. The first thing is a gadget that claims to let you walk on water could be the latest fitness craze. They're saying you could work out like Jesus. Dubbed the water blade, the system uses a floating platform that lets you waddle across swimming pools <coughs> and lakes. If that sounds like too much work, it also includes an electric motor that provides a whole bunch of thrust so you don't get stuck. The gadget that claims to let you walk on water could become the latest fitness craze, they're saying. The, hey. the Las Vegas-based architect Gamilly Cruz created the device, and he says, It's mainly designed to be a fitness system that works legs at bottom. I don't know what you just said. He says it's mainly designed to be a fitness system that works the legs, abs, and bottom. I don't give a shit. If it gives me Jesus abs, I'm in. <laughs> he did have fantastic abs. <laughs> Jesus. Number two. I'm not going to go there. What? What would you call it if an elephant took a picture of itself? An elfie. There you go. That's what it was called. Because plenty of tourists have snapped a selfie of themselves an posing elfie? with an elephant during their travels. But here's what happened. Christian LeBlanc. The elephant did it? Yeah, a 22-year-old Canadian found himself the subject, an ex subject of an extraordinary Elfie on a Thai island earlier this year. Do they train the elephant to do that, or that he just grabs the camera and does it? My girlfriend and I were exploring the island when we came across a couple of elephants. How very told, Canadian of you. <laughs> he told CNN by email. That's Canadian? For 50 cents, you could buy a basket of bananas, bananas to feed them, so we decided to get one. The elephant LeBlanc was feeding decided what was an offer wasn't enough and started ferreting for more food with his trunk. Yeah. Next thing I knew, it grabbed my GoPro by the hey. mount and I got the selfie of a lifetime, which I can't take full credit for. By the way, it's an amazing picture. If you're not watching this, if you're downloading it, uh, yeah, Google elephant selfie because it really is a cool picture. I think the little baby elephant in the back is stealing the show, though. Did That's you did you guys see baby uh, elephant? Did you guys see? La I think it was last year. A similar situation where uh, it was a, a, some kind of an ape. I don't know, it wasn't a chip, but some kind of an ape did the same thing and had like these, or grabbed, stole somebody's camera, took all these selfies, then the photographer got the camera back, really, or, so, yeah, selfies, yeah, released right. these photos, and they were amazing. Like, it's all chimp dick pics. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> like these great photos where he's smiling at the camera and shit like that. Well, then, uh, it, well, it turned into a, this international law situation because these pictures became famous, the photographer wanted to rights to them, and right. then some court somewhere, I don't know if it was here, <clears throat> or Singapore, or whatever the fuck, but they ruled that since the, the monkey, I can't remember, whatever, the, the ape, took the pictures, and whatever, whatever, that it, you know, was public domain, like, he didn't own the rights to those things. But he did take the chimp uh, to court for stealing his camera. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, like, Get sued for the rights to my pictures, but I'll take that bitch to court. Yeah, and that, that chip's gonna be caned to death uh, I, today in Singapore. What else, <laughs> what else did we learn uh, from uh, that story is that uh, apes and, and chimps are actually better friends than we would be, because again, it would be all p pictures down our pants. <laughs> <laughs> all right, next in Sheet, you should know. Activists have called on an 8th century pub to change its name from Ye Old Fighting Cocks to Ye Old Clever Cocks to reflect today's compassion for animals. Animal rights group God. PETA. Here comes PETA. Fuck PETA. They want the same Peter album's cotton. pub to adopt a new name to celebrate chickens as the intelligent, no, sensitive no, animals no, they no, are. No, no. The pub, which is in the Guinness Book of World Records, is as the UK's oldest, has had its current name since 1872 due to its history of cockfighting, a sport which was banned in England and Wales in 1835. She said, The name of all ye old fighting cocks calls to mind the violence and gore of cockfighting, a hideous blood sport so cruel that it has been outlawed in the UK. Oh, I thought it was an angry gay bar. <laughs> um, no. You said the 18th century or the 8th? 8th. 8th. So it's been around since the 700s. Mm -hmm. The first, when you first brought this up, I go, no, this is fucking ridiculous. This is historical, has nothing to do with anything. And then I remembered, 
oh, this is PETA, and they're mm -hmm. geniuses. They're great at taking at being opportunistic, yeah. and so they went, oh, we have this. We'll go and send them a C and D and ask them to do this, and we'll make it into the news again. And then once we make it into the news again, we'll get more money coming in. And not that we've already spent too much time on saying the word PETA today. Sorry, and what PETA's trying to do, I can appreciate. I'm a big fan of the animals as well, and I'm not sure that we are are being the best stewards. Um, but it's just annoying. It's annoying. I'm eating veal for dinner tonight. Uh, we're doing uh, turkey burgers. So at least, you know, it's kind of downgrading a little bit from the veal beef uh, spectrum of, you know, so evil saying, meat eaters. I, I'm, I'm a big evil meat eater. <clears throat> right, right, right. Veal. And I'm just a little evil meat eater since it's turkey. I'm gonna I, have I won't send you the pictures I have of the, the cows in boxes. I like to see my cows and make sure they're good before I eat them. Well, I'm going to piss Pete off. I'm going to have some cock for dinner tonight. <laughs> We're going to have some chicken. How do you like your cock? <laughs> Old. Ye. Old and ye. <laughs> Fighting. <laughs> yeah, seriously. No, we're going to have some chicken tonight. So. Good. No, seriously. I think we all bought it. Get it? Oh, hey. Number Jesse. No, no. Hold yeah. on. He's having chicken tonight. <laughs> Aiden, he's not fucking around about it either. Get it? I get it. <laughs> Number four. <laughs> At least 800 people have died in a major heat wave that has swept across India. Why right, is not something you laugh about? <laughs> Nothing in roads in New Delhi as temperatures near 50 degrees. Hospitals were all alert to treat victims yeah, of heat say. strokes. And authorities advise people to stay indoors with no end in sight to the scary. Can you do this? St no, start over without laughing. Yeah. And why is it? Oh, everybody's dead. That's Can you right. imagine it's just a picture of the dunes? It's just everybody's dead? No, it's fucking India. Of course it's going to be a fucking heat Jesus stroke. Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> The, in it's, India, that's where they get on a train and you have to shit like through a hole in the train and it just falls on the tracks. I'm sure they have their issues. Read the story also, again? I don't think it's... I without, without laughing? I think India's fantastic. At I, least 800 Indian people chips? have died in a major heat wave that has swept across India, melting roads in New Delhi as temperatures neared 50 degrees. Hospitals were on alert to treat victims of heat stroke and authorities advised people to stay indoors with no end in sight to the searing conditions. India's meteorological department said it had issued heat warnings to several states where temperatures were forecast to top 45 degrees Celsius over the next few days. Oh, no, we don't predict no. any risk. No, please stop, don't. <laughs> Actually, it's probably the best one he's ever done. It makes it the most offensive one he's ever done. Do the Indian one again. That was actually the best thing As of now, we don't predict any respite from the extreme heat wave for the next few days, said spokesman P. Day Yaya. Oh my god, it's really I'm, the best one he's ever done. How many people died again? Hundreds of people, mainly from the poorest sections of society, died the height oh, so of hundreds of poor people. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. non-story. That's why you're laughing. But seriously, oh. it's fucking India. Like, you know you're going to die of a heat stroke if you live Jesus there. Christ, no, India's one of the populist, population-wise, one of the that? biggest countries in the world, one of the oldest countries in the world, one of the richest cultures in the world. They Some just had the, the biggest porn stars. They had the, the biggest elections oh. in the history of the planet last year. You know what we did here in America? We talked about everything else except for the biggest elections okay. in the history of the goddamn planet. No, but this is the... Part of the problem of what we are here. It's we, Ed. No, we built we built our little <laughs> Disney World here, and we want to live in this perfect little bubble and act like nothing. And so when we get stories like this, we go, "Oh, fuck! It's India. What do you expect from India?" What? Ed does. <laughs> Ed does. He's not the only. You one. just almost pulled you humans. <laughs> Simmer down. There's too many humans. You guys don't find that story funny? No. All the stories are funny. That there's nothing in that. No, I don't to think me, it's funny. To me, it's very. Seven hundred people died. Eight hundred. Right. So no, it's interesting yeah, to me. He again. <laughs> but can you imagine that here no. in America, like we something, a, a heat wave comes through and eight hundred people die. Now every year, heat waves come through and mm -hmm. people die, and up especially up north in mm -hmm. Chicago and shit like that. Yeah. But it'll be a few. Eight hundred. The. <sighs> what? I don't feel like a fucking lecture right now. <laughs> <laughs> Look up like Indian porn stars though. Those Bro, chicks. Oh, to be beautiful. Indian I girls agree. are beautiful. Uh, my, ever since Princess Jasmine, man, I've I've had a thing for them. Oh, you know she's on. <laughs> All right, you guys ready to do some FAK theater? Yeah, could it be? Hopefully, there's more deaths than this one. Yeah. Um, maybe we'll do something fucking light, like a Disney movie for you, huh? Sounds because, good. Because India was <laughs> the India heat wave is just. No, clearly, no, I, don't, I don't. Wait a minute. Clearly, Disney's why nobody paid attention to the election last year. He said it. <laughs> Listen, I, I don't mind heavy shit. I'm just saying we don't make, might not have to laugh yeah. through. We can talk about worldly stuff, but we don't have to laugh about 800 people. Well, what do you expect? It's India. Shit, there's a billion and a half of them. What's 800? I don't I think you should call them of them. <laughs> I didn't say that. You said that. We might get this podcast pulled from YouTube for talking about that. Talking about what? 
Talking about the heat. Talking about the story you brought up. Why would we get pulled for talking about it? Because you guys are fucking making fun of it. (laughs) That's what he just said. You're making fun. You're the one laughing through. Hey, guys, I got this great story. And it's not, oh, hey, uh, you know, a dog Uh, got caught in a tree. Time out. I read the story and I was laughing while I was reading it. I never made any jokes about India, short of me doing the accent. That's the only joke I made. You're the one that's joking around saying, oh, I guess there's fucking a billion and a half of them, so if 800 dies, no, no big no, deal. No, that's a fact. He's, he's, he's talking about you making light of the situation. But I didn't make any jokes during the story. I read the fucking story okay, and I was laughing. Made, right, right. So you made light of. Laughing is an emotion. You're right, it is. <laughs> I can't fucking laugh. Right. I'm laughing right now while I'm talking to you. Yeah, what does that mean? You're right. That's an emotion. You're right. <laughs> It's a factual statement <laughs> that laughing is an emotion. Well, let's just do F and K theater, you assholes. <laughs> oh, here we go, number five. F and K theater, it's time. <coughs> but it's only time if I get some fucking Hollywood music, right? No, of course. That's, uh, that's the only way it can work. And uh, we got a couple. Actually, somebody's going to have to play two different roles today. Well, that's the bipolar guy in the show. How many roles do you need me to play? All right, so I have the main role, which is Timothy Brebrescio. Who's gonna bat? You, you, you give us. You just you, get, you assign us whatever yeah. you, we need. Oh, I raise my hand. Oh, well, he raises his hand. All right, so you're Timothy Pazinski. Brebrescio. Brebrescio. All right. Brebrescio. What? Brebrescio. Hey Tim. Brebrescio. How you doing? Hey Bubba. Fish, you're gonna be his mother. I sure am. And you're also going to be police officers. All right, so here we go. I think I saw a porn that started like that. <laughs> A man with a long history of mental illness attacked an Arizona Department of Public Safety patrol vehicle with a machete along Interstate 17 before an officer could deploy a stun gun. Hold on. We're this assuming is, you're the... I'm giving you the general b- synopsis. The setup. The setup. The yeah, the there setup. you go. So the man's mother arrives on the scene and explained that her son, Timothy Brabesco, had forced her what? from the car what? as they were headed to Phoenix what? from Colorado because what? he was upset she was driving too slow. What? So what? forced her from the car. What? Oh, sorry. He left her stranded uh, while he don't, climbed don't behind present. the... No, no, don't present. Not that kind of... Oh, no, nope. my bad. He left her stranded while he climbed behind the wheel and continued traveling oh. southbound without his mother on I-17 Sunday afternoon. <clears throat> Officers managed to spot and stop Hang the vehicle. On, what am I listening to? Uh, Michael Jackson, PYT. PYT. Officers managed to stop and spot the vehicle about 20 miles south of Flagstaff. Brebrescio stopped out of the car waving a machete and refused orders to stop as he walked towards the officers. One of the officers deployed a stun gun, but it had little effect. Brebescio got back into his car, and when he began to drive off, hang both on. officers... What, hang on, what am I listening to? Now you're listening to Michael Jackson thriller. When he began to drive off, both officers opened fl- fire, deflating one of the tires. Our third officer joined in the pursuit. I'm sorry about that, by the way, because I went immediately for the back of your head, and that was fucked up. I, I apologize. A third officer joined the pursuit. Brebescio stopped about one mile down the road. This time he got out and immediately began attacking one of the patrol vehicles with the machete while the officer was safely inside. The attack crashed the windshield and I'm punctured safe. one of the tires on the patrol vehicle. Another officer deployed his stun gun and Brebescio was taken into custody. Yeah. <laughs> The man's mom said they were in route to nope. Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> went into a mental health facility. Brevesco was taken to the Verde Valley Medical Center and was later transported to a Phoenix hospital. The officers were not injured. Good, good. It's good to hear. Well, that was eventful. You like my machete? Was Sometimes del- you have to think on the fly. Mm, did a good job. Yeah. At least you didn't uh, try to chop me up with the fart mic. <laughs> Next time. At least you didn't make jokes about India, Jesse. <laughs> I just can't. I can't I don't I don't so, know. So so let's go back to September eleventh, two thousand eleven. I don't know if oh, you refresh your memory. When you were doing that story that day about all those were you laughing through the details of that day? Nope, was not. <laughs> what? It was sad. Okay, just uh just curious. <laughs> but eight hundred people did die because of a heat wave. No, no, give it to me. No, no, <laughs> there we go. No. Fisher and Cage. <laughs> Uncensored. Like them on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Slash Fisher and Cage.